hey guys welcome back so i wanted to do another video on the low light test this time it's pretty pretty low light um, inside the living room and uh, it's just eliminated by kind of a night lamp two night lamps so let's try uh, the image quality test right now it's on superior auto let's switch to 8 megapixel at 16 by 9 half press to focus there you see now let's go to the manual mode let's set everything to auto let's go to 2 megapixels 16 by 9 and finally let's go to we'll try two settings here first we will try the high ISO and the scene mode in manual mode and now we will try the night scene now for this mode I think we need to keep the phone very very steady which is quite difficult but um, let's analyze the image quality so this is under the night mode, night scene, 2 megapixel shot. As you can see the picture is a bit blurry because of a very slow shutter speed use. Let's check out the shutter speed. There, it selected a shutter speed of 1 second which is absolutely impossible for a handheld shot and the results you can see, it's pretty blurry. There are absolutely no details. Now let's look at a picture with 2 megapixels again in manual mode with the high ISO settings in the scene mode and here it's pretty sharp. Let's check out the details, 2 megapixel picture, 1 by 8 of a second, still pretty slow for a handheld shot but acceptable, there is no blur. So it's pretty good. Let's check out the details. We can read Snickers, Hershey's, and this is a superior auto shot in 8 megapixel. What about the details here? Pretty good. Superior auto has done a pretty good job here. What the shutter speed is? Oh no, it's then a 2 megapixel shot and just complete manual. ISO selected was 2500. 1 by 8 of the shutter speed and this is a superior auto shot let's just quickly check that yep 8 megapixel 1 by 8 again the shutter speed selected and ISO 2500 pretty good Snickers Hershey's is pretty readable um, let's try another shot this time with 20 megapixel and a superior auto so it directs it's a low light scene let's try to keep the phone really steady let's analyze let's see if we get more details no it's pretty shaky i guess it's selected a very slow shutter uh, it's still 1 by 8 but the details are very mushy it's not worth it in my opinion <coughs> now let's select the mode you can say these are my settings now so here's a treat for you guys I'll go into the manual mode I will go to high sensitivity and what I would do is um, okay this is not supported so um, I will just turn this off I will go into complete auto I will select the ISO I would say uh, this selecting it as 2500 let's select 1600 that should be good and we would just go into the exposure setting shutter speed setting just selecting 1 by 8 let's go to 1 by 4 that should do the trick 
Now let's try to snuff back. Now let's see how did it process. It's read off a much brighter picture because of the longer exposure and a cleaner picture because of the low ISO selected. I definitely prefer this image. Have a look at this image. Though um, there is a lot of purple fringing from the corners in extreme low light conditions. This is uh, there in almost all the pictures I have noticed. This is a 20 megapixel shot. These are under my settings. Again a bit darker. A very warm picture so I guess the picture I took was pretty good pretty usable 2 megapixel shot more than enough details everything crisp and clear the Snickers and Hershey's is also pretty good ISO pretty low now let's try one more shot here this time around we would select the ISO at 800 and the shutter speed at 0.5 of a second and let's change the white balance to tungsten no this is tube I guess I don't know what that is let's just keep that auto I'm not very sure about that and I'll try to keep the phone very very steady let's see what results we get here Straight off you can see a much more brighter image but is it sharp enough for a handheld shot? No, not possible for a handheld shot, handheld shot. So you, if you see the details here, it's pretty blurry, you can't make out of any details. Whereas if we selected the 1 by 4 of a shutter speed, it was still pretty usable but you need to ha keep your hands pretty pretty steady and I think this is the perfect way to take a picture a little bit of processing on snaps need and I think it'll go a long way I'll just quickly show you what we could do here is uh, we could increase the ambience a bit we can increase the brightness a bit highlights decrease the shadows or no yeah I guess decrease it a bit and it's pretty warm for my taste so I'll reduce the warmth I guess that's pretty good and what we could do is in order to bring out more details increase the structure increase the sharpness a bit now just see the effect it has on the picture this is without the edit this is with the edit straight off you can see much more crisper picture if I increase the structure a bit more you get more details look at that it's just a personal take if you prefer it this way I prefer it this way I'll go with this shot and what we could also do is we could select white balance um, I don't like the white balance here let's try to find a white spot uh, it's not working this way so let's just go to auto white balance so it's auto adjusted No, I still prefer the white balance which was captured by the phone camera so uh, I guess that's it let's just save the picture done it's preparing and saving so this was a picture which I took and this is the snapseed edited picture which one do you like guys I think I like this brings out much more details the picture looks a bit like um, Samsung Galaxy S7 picture which could be a good thing a bad thing depends on your preference your take but I like it in this setting it looks much crisper and much better to look at alright guys so that was a night camera analysis kind of a thing hope you guys liked it leave comments drop like subscribe 
थैंक यू